जय हिंद माई सेल पुष्कल कुमार शुक्ला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट एट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अल्जेबरिक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज यूनिट फोर डिस्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर एंड थ्योरी ऑफ लॉजिक सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज बेनिफिशियल टू द बी टेक थर्ड सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल कवर कंटेंट अल्जेबरिक स्ट्रक्चर सेमी ग्रुप मोनाइट्स ग्रुप्स एबेलियन ग्रुप्स and some important examples now come on the topic algebraic structure what is algebraic structure a non empty set g equipped with one or more binary operation a non empty set g equipped with one or more binary operation is said to be algebraic structure suppose star is a binary operation on g then g star is an algebraic structure so this is a diagram this is algebraic structure now semi groups monoids groups and abelian groups so here we see that the algebraic structure is a super set of abelian group groups monoids and semi groups and if we restrict some Uh, restriction we impose some restriction on the algebraic structure then it becomes a semi groups so algebraic structure g star is said to be algebraic structure if it follows the closure property on the set g now come on the semi group so semi group an algebraic system g star is said to be semi group if star is closed operation on g first property it holds any algebraic structure is said to be semi groups if star is closed operation on g and star is associative operation for all a b c is element of g this is for example n plus is a semi group here n is a set of natural numbers and plus is the binary operation so why it is semi group because plus binary operation plus is a binary operation which is closed under the natural number because suppose if we take any two natural number like 1 and 2 these are the two natural numbers and addition of this two natural number is also a natural number so perform these operations 1 plus 2 that is 3 is also a element of natural number so we say ki n plus n plus is a semi group because it performs the close operation and second property it can also hold associative property so we take a three numbers natural numbers 1 2 and 3 so we perform associative operation on the addition so 1 plus 2 plus 3 so adding 1 plus 2 first and then 3 it will be 6 yeah we can also perform 1 plus 2 plus 3 in a such a way 2 plus 3 first add and then it will be the result will be added to 1 then it will be also 6 so we can say ki associative property is also hold on the natural number so we can say n plus is a semi group second example we can say n and multiplication this is dot is a multiplication is also semi group because if you take any two natural numbers so multiplication of any two natural number is also a natural number so it holds the closure operation and second if you take the three numbers three natural numbers like 1 2 3 and multiply like this 1 into 2 into 3 first multiply 1 into 2 and then multiply 3 then the result will be 6 yeah we can also perform this 1 into 2 into 3 so multiply 2 into 3 and then multiply 1 then also it comes 6 in both cases the result is coming 6 so it holds the associative operation so n multiplication is a semi group 
because it holds the closure property as well as the associative property. Next example is n minus n is the set of natural numbers and minus is the binary operation. It is not a semi group because it does not hold the closure operation on this set natural number. Because if you suppose take 1 and 2, so 1 and 2 we take the two natural numbers and operation is minus subtraction. So 1 minus 2 suppose we perform this. So the result is coming minus 1 and minus 1 is not an element of natural number. So we can say okay, this is not a closure operation. So if it does not perform the closure operation, so it is not a semi group. Next concept we will discuss monoid. An algebraic system this star is said to be monoid if it follows the following properties. First, star is a closed operation in G. Second, star is an associative operation in G. And third, there is an identity element. There exists an identity element in G. If all three conditions are satisfied, then we can say algebraic system is a monoid. Just for example, like this, we take n plus. So, n plus, now question is n plus is monoid. So, this is a set of natural numbers, this set of natural numbers and this is a binary operation. So, set of natural number, we see that the set of natural number on the binary operation plus is also holds the closure operation in natural number. We have already seen that is uh, semi group under the discussion of a semi group. Again, n plus also follow the associative property. And third, there is an identity element. There is identity element in G. It means uh, addition identity element for the addition is zero. Additive identity that is zero. So zero is not the part of. Zero is not the part of natural number. So n plus is not a monoid. N is n plus is not a monoid. Suppose n multiplication this. So this is multiplication also holds the closure property. This also holds the associative property. And one is the multiplicative identity for the multiplication. So that is the part of 1 is the part of the natural number. It also holds there is an identity 1 that is exists in this natural number. So multiplicative operation, multiplication operation in multiplication is a monoid group. An algebraic system G star is said to be group if it satisfy four conditions. First, it holds the, the closure operation. Multiplication. This star is a closed operation. A star is an associative operation. There is an identity element in G, and every element in G has inverse in G. So this is the this is this is required for the algebraic system. These two are required for the semi groups. Semi groups. These two properties are required. And these three properties are required, these three properties are required for monoid. And these four properties are required for groups. And one important topic is abelian group, yeah, commutative group. A group G star is said to be abelian, yeah, commutative. If following condition are satisfied, A star B equal to B star A for every A B is element of G. So, see this by example. So that this is a very important uh, questions which frequently uh, which are frequently asked in a KTU examination. So, so that G equal to 1 omega omega square is an abelian group under multiplication where 1 omega and omega square are the cube root of unity. This question may be asked in some other way like a cube root of unity 
so that the cube root of unity is an abelian group under multiplication. So, how we proceed? Cube root of unity. First of all, we have to find the cube root of unity. Here, it is given 1 omega and omega square are the cube root, root of unity. But uh, if question will be asked like this, ki cube root of unity, show that cube root of unity uh, is an abelian group under multiplication. So, how we will do that? Cube root of unity. First of all, find the cube root of unity x equal to cube root of unity like this. So, we can write x equal to 1, 1 by 3. Now, we can write x q equal to 1. This implies x q minus 1 equal to 0. This implies x minus 1, x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. This implies x equal to 1 and this will give you a 2 result x equal to minus 1 plus minus b square 1 chi square minus 4 into 1 into 1 1 equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 chi square minus 4 into 1 into 1 by 2 into a 2 into 1. So, this will be minus 1 plus minus root 3 and minus root 3 by 2. So, this will be minus 1 plus minus root 3 i by 2. So, if we say minus 1 plus root 3 i by 2 is equal to omega, then minus 1 minus root 3 i by 2 will be omega I square. Yeah, if we say this will be the omega square, so this will be omega. So both are the both are the conjugate. Okay, omega and omega. If you are squaring this, we will get this. If you are squaring this, we will get this. So cube root of unity will be one omega and omega square. So here it is given one omega omega square. So how we we uh, will. Uh, retain as, as in a composition table. So, first of all, to show a billion group, we have to uh, retain in the composition table 1 omega omega square written like in a row form and then in a column 1 omega omega square and the operation is multiplication. Okay, the operation is multiplication. So, 1 into 1, this is 1, 1 into omega, omega, 1 into omega square, omega square, omega into 1, omega, omega into omega, omega square, omega into omega square, omega q. And we know the property, q root of unity, property omega q equal to 1. How it is coming? Suppose x is uh, x q equal to 1. So, omega is the root of this. So, write in this equation. So, this will be omega q equal to 1. So, omega q equal to 1. So, here omega into omega square omega q and we write 1. Then omega square into 1 omega square. Omega square into omega omega q. Result is 1. Omega square into omega square omega. Omega square into omega square equal to omega q power 4 equal to omega into omega q and omega q equal to 1. So, result is omega. So, by this way we form the composition table. Now, see all these four properties that is required for the group. So, closure property. Since all the entries, all the entry in the composition table are 1 omega omega square. 1 omega omega square that is the element of the G. So, all the entry of the composition table are the element of G, any 1 omega omega square. Therefore, it it follows the closure property. It follows the closure property. Next, associative. We know that the complex number, we know that the element of G are the complex number, 1 omega omega square. So, complex number, multiplication of complex number is always associative. Multiplication of, multiplication of complex number is always, we know. 
we take any and we can also uh, show it by 1 omega omega e square multiply this then this will be omega q then multiply with 1 then that is omega q that is 1 yeah we can multiply 1 into omega that is omega and then multiply omega e square then omega q and omega q by 2 1 so by this way we also get the same result so we can conclude multiplication of complex number is always associative now identity here we see that one one is the identity element for the multiplication as already discussed multiplicative identity is one and additive identity is zero so here multiplication operation is there so multiplicative identity one is there so one is element of g one is so multiplication identity also exists fourth inverses so every element of g has inverses suppose if there exists an element a then the multiplicative inverse is 1 by a so for example there is element 1 so 1 the multiplicative inverse 1 inverse equal to 1 by this element 1 yani ki 1 so 1 is also element of g omega inverse omega inverse means 1 by omega and we know that 1 we can write omega q by omega so this is omega square so inverse of omega is omega square so also in g then inverse of omega square how we get that is 1 by omega square yani omega q by omega square yani omega so inverse of omega square is omega so here from the composition table we see that the inverse element of 1 is 1 1 is 1 inverse of omega is omega square and inverse of omega square is omega so every element of g has multiplicative inverse inverse also exists so if all these four properties exist then we can say this is group this forms a group for abelian group now we have to show abelian groups for abelian group we have to show if this follow the commutative law also the fifth property is commutative law if the corresponding rows this is the corresponding rows and corresponding columns first rows first column second row second column third row third column are the same entries on the corresponding rows and corresponding columns are same then it is the property of commutative it follows the law of commutative so hence the binary operation is commutative so if all five properties hold then we can say okay, this is an abelian group under the multiplication very important questions so that g equal to 1 minus 1 i and minus i is an abelian group under multiplication this is a very important question many frequency of this question in equative is very high coming in a equative examination many times where this question is asked okay so 1 minus 1 i and minus i is an abelian group under the multiplication so this is the fourth root of unity actually this question may asked so that fourth root of unity is an abelian group under the multiplication yeah this question may ask like this so that g equal to 1 minus 1 i and minus i is an abelian group under multiplication so fourth root of unity fourth root of unity yani x equal to fourth root of unity that is this we can write this yeah x4 equal to 1 yeah x4 this imply minus 1 equal to 0 this imply x square minus 1 and x square plus 1 so x square equal to 1 or x square equal to minus 1 
x equal to plus minus 1 and x square equal to i square. Yeah, x equal to plus minus i. So, four roots are x equal to 1 minus 1 i and minus i. So, these four roots are given. These four roots are given. 1 minus 1 i and minus i. So, that g equal to the element of g, any set, 1 minus 1 i and minus i. That is fourth root of unity. Is an abelian group. So, for abelian group, we have to show five properties. What properties are? Closure property, associative properties, identity property, inverse properties, and commutative properties. So, first of all, we have to make a composition table. So, composition or write elements of the set in a row and the column one by one, one minus one i n minus i, one minus one i n minus i. Operation is multiplication. Make composition double one into one 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 into minus one minus one one into y i one into minus i minus i minus one into one minus one minus one into minus one plus one minus one into y minus y minus one into minus i i i into one i i into minus one minus i i into y i square here coming i square and i square equal to minus one i is our term i into minus i that is minus i square equal to minus or minus 1 that is 1 so 1 is square. minus i into 1 that is minus i minus i into minus 1 that is i minus i into i minus i square that is 1 and minus i into minus i that is plus i square that is minus 1 so by this way we can make a composition table. Now check the closure property. So closure property since all the entries on the composition table are the elements of G 1 minus 1 i minus i all the entries on the composition table are the elements of the G. So we say ki it holds the closure property. Now associative property these are the complex numbers. So we know that the complex numbers follow the associative property. We take any three numbers, complex numbers and multiply follow the property of associative and if it satisfy then definitely is where associative property works. So in this case it works. Next identity. At multiplicative identity, here multiplication operation is there, so we have to search a multiplicative identity 1 is there or not. So, in this multiplicative identity 1 exists, 1 is there, 1 is there, multiplicative identity. So, multiplicative identity 1 is the element of G, so also exists. So, third, uh, third property also holds. Then, fourth was the inverses. So, inverses you have. We can also see the inverses by the composition table. So, take this 1, 1 and this, this 1. So, inverse of 1 is 1 by this way. Inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 is minus 1. Inverse of i is minus i. And inverse of minus i is i. It means this property holds a star b equal to e. So, a and b are inverses to each other if it performs the operation, suppose multiplication, so multiplication identity, it comes 1. So, so here we see 1 multiplication b equal to 1. So, b will be 1. So, b will be 1. 1, b is 1. So, by this way, by this way we can also calculate and by the composition table we can also calculate the multiplicative inverses. So, here we see 
the composition table we see that the inverse element of 1 is 1, inverse of minus 1 is minus 1, inverse of i is minus i and inverse of minus i is i respectively. Then fourth associate commutative property. Here we see that the corresponding rows 1 minus 1 i and minus i, 1 minus 1 i f and corresponding columns are same. Corresponding rows and corresponding columns are same in the composition table. So, it follows the commutative property. So, all five properties are going to satisfy. So, we can say this is an abelian group. This is an abelian group. Next is modulus system. Very important question. May, is, may be asked in a modulus system. Addition modulo m. Let m is a positive integer. For any two positive integer a and b, a modulo a plus b modulo operation addition modulo. This is addition modulo m. So, a addition modulo b equal to a plus b if a plus b is less than m and a addition modulo b equal to r if a plus b is greater than equal to m. So, see this by example. Suppose a equal to a equal to 3 and b equal to 4 right and m equal to 5. So, a plus b, a plus b that is 7, 7 is greater than equal to 5, this condition is going to satisfy it. So, in this case, a plus a addition modulo b, yani a addition modulo b, yani is 3 plus 4 modulo m addition modulo that is 7 modulo 5 it means 7 divided by 5 that is 2 so remainder is coming 2 so remainder is coming 2 so in this case 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 yani ki 7 and 7 modulo 5 that is 2 remainder is coming 2 so, this if a plus b is less than m, so a addition modulo b equal to a plus b. Again, example say so 2 plus 2 addition modulo this equal to 4 and 4 addition modulo 5, 4 addition modulo 5 equal to 4 a plus b. A plus B. And this is also applicable for the multiplication model. But in case of addition, you have we add, and in case of multiplication, you have it will multiply. Now come on the question. Based on the addition modulo, the set G equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a group with respect to addition modulo 6. So, first of all, we have to make a composition table. So, take elements from 0 to 5 as a row wise and a column wise. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then operation is addition modulo 6, addition modulo 6 and we have to show this is a group. Then for group, we have to show four properties that is closure properties, that is associative properties, that is identity property and then inverse property. So, see one by one that is closure property. So, how to make this composition table? Now, the question is this. So, 0 plus 0. So, 0 plus 0 equal to 0 and 0 
and addition modulo 6. This value is coming less than 6, so result will be 6. Result will be six. No, sorry, result will be 0. 0 plus 1, that is 1, 1 is less than 6, then 1. 0 plus 2 equal to 2, 0 plus 3 equal to 3, 0 plus 4 equal to 4, 0 plus 5 equal to 5. Okay, see another. See this, 3. 3 plus 0, that is 3, less than 6, the result is 3. 3 plus 1, that is 4, 4 is less than 6, that the result will be 4. 3 plus 3 equal to 6, 6 modulus 5, sorry, 6 modulus 6 equal to 0. 3 plus 4, that is 7, 7 modulus 6, that is 1, remainder 1 is coming, so 1. 3 plus 5 that is 8 and 8 modulo 6 equal to 2, remainder 2 is coming. So, by this way we can make a composition table. <coughs> Since all the entry in the composition table 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, all the entry in the composition table are the element of set 0. So, this is the closed operation, G is closed under addition modulo 6.